I just want to shut my brain off today and do a little last run. Uh, starting off with 2020 in your item room is a pretty good cat in that regard, I think. That's gonna make shutting off your brain much easier, much, much nicer, yeah. Um, that's a good start. Why do I want to shut my brain off? Because I'm a little lethargic. We just had like a massive old lunch, uh, our, our Christmas dinner slash lunch slash feast. With the, with the goose we were gonna eat. It was, it was a good goose. It was a matter of fact, this is the perks of living on the countryside. It's from the farmer that we're neighbors to. We, we, I, I don't think we got to pick which goose we, <laughs> we killed and ate, but we, we saw them all summer. They were just walking around the field behind our backyard. It's, uh, nice. Oh yeah, by the way, I got good trip as well. Hold on. Finally installed that, but I should probably configure it a little bit. Cause I don't want that on. Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, life's good, you know? <laughs> it, was, it was a great meal. It was, it was great. My my dad did a good job slow roasting that. Slow roasting that big old bird and turning it into something good. The stuffing was great. It was it was nice, you know? It's what Americans do for Thanksgiving. And we did it with just a goose instead of a turkey because... Uh, I don't know, we don't eat turkey as much over here. Turkey isn't like a... Used as a meat as much, I feel. For, for pretty much anything. Like, anything you use turkey for, we just use like pork. In, 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 instead, it seems a bit weird, but that's just how it be. That's just how it be. I think the only time I ever saw a turkey was uh, years, like almost a decade ago at this point, when we still lived our old place. Our neighbors were having a big, I think it was a Christmas dinner as well, and they made a turkey that time. And I remember like our neighbor, dude just like lowered that shit into like the big old pot, and it almost fucking exploded. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was, that was good fun. Why would I go in here? I don't have money, but... I guess I wanted to check if there was anything worthwhile. Turns out they're... Uh, well, starter pack's okay, but... Will I blow up my donor machine for it? Maybe, actually. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, starter deck. It's always nice to have. A judgment card. That's always good to have as well. I just need a little bit of cash. And we're gonna be sitting pretty. <laughs> we're gonna be looking at something amazing. When that happens. Oh boy. I guess I could've blown up that rock too. True, true, I guess I could've. Oh well, I've been so nice to my donor machine. You get to rip it off every once in a while again, right? That's how it goes. But yeah, it was nice, man. And tomorrow for the 25th, because it's the 24th today, we're going to my extended family and we're having goose again and uh, all the stuff that comes with it. Uh, which means, you know, meeting all your not so distant relatives, but, you know, more distant relatives like my aunt and uncle and all my cousins and stuff. And, uh, you know, seeing what kind of Stuff they want to talk about. Probably getting sh fucking hella drunk. Uh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Nasty item. Probably should have just gone for the mystery item, but I wasn't. I wasn't feeling it. You know, I wasn't feeling the the luck on that one. Instead, I would like to go for another roll here. Mhm. Mm Unfortunately, that is useless. But if I was any other character right now, I'd be very happy. Also, why didn't I blow this up yet? I, why did I just ignore the tinted rock? Like, I, I saw it the first time I went through there, I just ignored it for some reason. Could've gotten small rock out of it, it would've been pretty nice, you know? That's a guppy item. Cool. Uh, that's a lot of fireflies. And also spiders in here. Okay. That's the worst part dealt with. Yeah, I should've picked up a guppy's paw and then, you know, re-rolled it and stuff to get some better use out of my charges here in this room, but I'm too busy trying to stay alive right now, man. This, uh... They're throwing a lot of stuff at you in these rooms, man, is all I'm saying. It takes a lot to just live. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Now we can reroll. Piercing shots is incredible, thank you very much. Ah, I love just having a brain dead run where I don't have to think because the game is just kind to me today. It's just giving me shit that I want. Might as well do the boss right now. I'm all not his judgment card until I have enough money to really make it pop. Although, yes, it could probably pay out with something very good. I'd rather, you know, make sure I don't, uh, uh, I don't end up using it and then don't have the money for it, right? Like, 10 cents is... Statistically, I don't know, what's the average payout rate of a beggar? I've definitely made the payout in less than 10 cents several, several, many, 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 many a times, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe I'd rather err on the side of caution here. Let's check this deal as well. Nah, nah, these ain't worth losing chances over, that's for sure. I'm, I'm trying to fish for that damn pound of flesh. Oh, are you a chaos card perhaps? Ooh. Ooh, I like the look of that. I would love to find Gideon on this run now. That could be quite interesting, wouldn't you agree? Well, there's no re-rolling you anymore, so uh, guess I'll just take it. Uh, it's, it's, there's nothing else to be done. Oh, wait a minute, blank card. Oh, I don't have the money for it, but that would have been incredible. I just realized, blank card, chaos card? If that even works, I don't know if it does. 
I feel like there's some cards that might not be usable with blank card. I don't remember if the Chaos card is one of those. A planetarium tool? What the hell? Oh my god. Mercurius? Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. I can't reroll that in good conscience. What if it disappears? And then I, you know, end up missing out on uh, all the good stuff. By the way, I should be making use of Mercurius to uh, preserve charges. That would be a very smart thing to do. Like just speeding through all these rooms until I find special rooms that I might want to reroll. Like this shop, for instance. And then I can check it out. Diplopia is incredible to look at, to behold. I'm gonna make some actual use of Mercurius for once. Because I almost never do. There it is. Okay, I gotta fight my way through this. But, you know, I'm wasting, like, minimal charges with this. I can actually make some good use of it. That's nice. Let's check this first. Uh, nope. That is useless to me. I might as well check the item room, right? Maybe it's actually got something good in it. Or straight off the bat. Yes, it does. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what, what is happening? Why is this run so good? Uh, um... <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, that just happened. To uh, bring it back to my millennial audience, I, I need to appeal to older audiences as well to an extent. I'm, you know, people always talk about, oh, you gotta appeal to the young audiences. Nah, man, you gotta appeal to the older audiences too. The older people make up uh, just as much, if not more, of your demographics, brother. I gotta be in touch with the millennials, I gotta be in touch with my, my elders, I guess. Oh my god, I'm just throwing through all the damn HP upgrades. Uh, I guess I'll get some charges off the mirror side as well while I'm at it. God, I wish the Mirror Planetarium could also have items. That would be so awesome. Might as well reroll this, right? This this knife piece. While I'm here. Boom. Ah, yeah, flat stone's fine. I can live with a flat stone. It's totally okay. <sighs> Lots of this is gonna be happening. I do wonder, wait. I can't do it on a mirror side, right? But how does this work? Oh my god, it does. That's so cool. No more backtracking for me ever again, dude. Good trip. I'm so glad I finally installed that mod. Oh my god, he got blown up by the barrel. Utterly destroyed. Annihilated. Okay, so like now I can be like, hey, take me to this room. I haven't defeated it yet, but I can go in here anyway. That's so good. Like, I gotta whip up my mouse every once in a while to do that, but that's fine, man. Let's fight the boss, right? It's not like I have my char my charges to be used on anything else, so. Why do you got from me? Perfection? Uh, an angel deal, which is quite surprising. <laughs> you're kidding, right? You're, you're actually kidding me. What the fuck is going on? Here's the seed in case you want to check this run out for yourself. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But, man, I uh, <laughs> I am kind of in awe at, uh, at what I'm witnessing right now. Where is my secret room at? It's got to be up here. Okay, okay, now I know exactly what I'm doing. I know I'm going to be out of money for a bit, but I hope this guy pays out. Okay, he did. Now, I need seven cents. Which should be doable, somehow. Uh, because I want to Diplo that. Seven bucks, huh? Okay. <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, this could help, actually. I'm gonna waste some charges by doing this, though. Unless Head of the Keeper allows me to... ...farm money, and then I can just leave rooms with uh, Mercurius. Wait a minute. Actually, maybe I'm cooking here. Maybe there's something... There's something going on here. Perhaps I actually have the opportunity to farm some money. I guess I'm gonna be just gonna be relegated to doing one single reroll. Please give me a nickel. Oh, that would have been so useful. And what if I just keep re-entering the room and re-killing these guys? Maybe eventually they're gonna give me money, right? Oh yeah, they are actually. Okay. Well, I have found an infinite money glitch. I just gotta keep doing it until I got enough money in here. Okay, that's three. I need two more bucks. Okay, well, I got him. This is incredible. <laughs> Mercurius and Head of the Keeper, everybody. In case you ever need to farm infinite money. Okay, it didn't matter because that poop had a nickel inside. Look, how was I gonna... How was I gonna know? How was I gonna know that that would happen? Anyway, I don't care what this is. I'm not gonna reroll it because my charge is saved. Uh, served much rather better on the... Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't work on the mirror side. Um, it, it served better on the secret room, but it doesn't even matter because the item was good anyway. I'm gonna bomb my way through because I'm too lazy to walk around as well. Uh, we dupe. I do want one of the blue maps, so I'm just gonna take one of them. It's just good to have. Uh, Dad's ring is also nice, but come on. Okay! Yeah, you know what? If you're gonna delete everything but leave one item, this is the one to leave. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That's totally fine. This is, uh, going off the rails very quickly. I... Dare I say, things are going my way. My way on the highway. Montezuma is two away from C-section. All right! All right, sure, yeah, let's uh, let's go for that, right? <laughs> let's go for that. God, I hope the boss on this floor is Gideon. God, I hope it's Gideon. It would be so fucking awesome if it was Gideon. Bada bing, 
Bada boom. Okay, my, I mean, my fire rate is still default, so it's not, like, amazing, right? It's not like we're looking at something incredible here yet. I don't have keys for this. But, you know, it's uh, it's still gonna be good because it's C-section we're talking about here, man. Shops are now where things are gonna happen for me. Okay, speaking of, I found one. Oh, cool. Steam sail. Actually, should I have spun- Shouldn't I have spun that down? Doesn't steam sail turn into a battery? Did I misremember that? That being said, I guess it's still not a bad idea because at the end of the day, I'm gonna probably be spending a lot of money on shops at some point. You are two away from compound fracture, my friend. Uh, that's very interesting. Uh, that's a red key, which is a spirit sword. That I- THAT I definitely want. <laughs> that- Now that is actually important. And I'm even getting keys. Lovely. Uh, I might as well use it. Look for something up there, right? I doubt- I, I doubt it would have been here, but it was worth checking. It's not the best place to check, but I was so lazy to walk around with it. Yeah, Cause Spirit Sword is gonna be crazy with the fetuses. Um, <laughs> things do get better, no matter what. That's another charge, okay. I might actually be able to get myself Compound Fracture as well, which I don't even remember if it works with C-Section. Uh, I feel like it does though. Anyway, one step at a time. That's Spirit Sword. Bada bing. And then I... I'm gonna try it! Might as well, right? Might as well go for it, see what... see what happens. Bada boom. Yeah, they're definitely spit, uh, splitting off bones every once in a while. That's incredible. Oh my lord! I cannot believe that we've arrived at this point so fast. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly it happened. And yet here we are. Oh, it's not Gideon. What the hell? I was expecting it to be Gideon. I saw a big room and... My heart rate went up for a little bit. I was like, oh man. This is gonna be Gideon, no way. And then it wasn't. Oh my god, Keeper, Keeper's head is also going crazy here. Got so much fucking money out of it. Got a pentagram. Why is everything just good? Why is everything I'm getting just good? It's crazy, bro. I got a few keys now, I could do the challenge room. I guess if I ever wanted, I could also get charges off the charge beggar, that's true. It's on sale anyway, so yeah, you know what? What do we got? Another judgment? Okay. Two of diamonds, cool. The judgment isn't gonna do much for me. So I'm just gonna play him here, like, it doesn't matter really, because I can't re-roll his stuff. I'm using the d6, right? Uh, the, d the spin down dice. Do you turn into anything? Nah, okay, whatever. Ready, set up, raring to go. Stuff's gonna be great. Life is good. I'm loving it here. <laughs> okay. Just take me to the boss right away. It's not Gideon. Damn! Damn you! This is what you get for not being Gideon. You get destroyed and turned into money. Uh, what do we have in here? Relic. Pretty useless to me. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you turn into the right key piece, I can turn it into a damage up. Unfortunately, it's the wrong one. Well, no, not necessarily, because I do have two charges. So here's what we're gonna do. Spin down once, might as well pick this up for Bookworm, get a bomb out of it, spin down again, and then grab all this, because why not? I wouldn't mind getting Sack Alter. You know, that seems like a good get, actually. Sure, let's see if I can accomplish that. For now, I gotta actually get the charges here. I actually gotta clear rooms for once and get the charges out of it. I know, it's crazy. What are we dealing with in here? Uh, chalky milk. Turns into tech, though. I need tech. Tech is more exciting here. Much more interesting. Oh, greed. You know what? That's fine. You're an extra charge, effectively. I, I can live with that. You're you're nothing to me but a, but a battery charge on this spin-down dice, brother. That's all you're worth to me. You, you, you can tell how deep in I am with, like, being charge efficient. I am skipping the big room. To do this one instead for a single charge. Because I'm only a single charge off. That's how you can tell how deep in I am. Give me that tech, please. Now they have lightsabers. Which is pretty fucking awesome! Like, that's pretty damn cool! For some reason, the rings around them are yellow, but that's probably because of Head of the Keeper. Might as well take a look. What we're dealing with? Zodiac. No thank you. But maybe Seraphim could be interesting. Why are some of them so fast? Why are they glitching out like that? I feel like they're glitching out a little bit. <laughs> What do we have in here? Oh, another greed fight. Of course, of course. Well, in case I ever need money this floor for whatever reason, I... I think I'm sorted for the foreseeable future. I, I should go for Seraphim. Or Rune Bag, for that matter. Well, that's a lot of spin downs, so I think I'm just gonna go for Seraphim and get that conjoined out here. And that's, that's gonna help a lot. Spin! Spin! There we go, that's conjoined. I think. Now, does Seraphim not count as a conjoined piece? Oh no, I don't have conjoined yet right now because of... Little Chad always strips me up. He doesn't count as a conjoined piece, right? Always gets me. Oh well. Two thirds of the way there, though. That's pretty good, nonetheless. I don't know what I'm gonna use this Chaos card on now, by the way. I didn't get Gideon, which is truly unfortunate. Kind of what I was hoping for. So I guess I'll just use it on the boss on this floor. And get it over with quickly, right? Does it work while he's in invulnerability phase? Nah, it doesn't. Okay, unfortunate. Oh well. It's not like it's gonna matter too much because he's gonna die, like, instantly anyway. <laughs> 
It's not like it was gonna be hard. Oh my god! No way! Yeah, yeah. That's rock bottom waiting for me. I really hope I can get the charges for that together. I might be able to. Let me save some time. Thank you. Thank you for saving me a lot of time. <laughs> I will be making so much use of that. You're not even ready for it, man. Now that I've installed Good Trip, I am going to be abusing the living hell out of it. I'm going to be teleporting like crazy. You already know the vibe. Just because it saves me so much fucking time. Rock bottom, baby! Woo! Alright. A little bit more damage out of that Empress card. What was this rune? It's all Jude. Right. Should be speed up. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm done here. I need to- I, I'm gonna abuse that way too much. I need to, like, stop myself. Anyway, in other gaming-related news, I started playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night yesterday to continue my Metroidvania train. Lost soul, huh? He doesn't really spin down into anything. I guess I'll take him before I fight the boss, if I remember. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Very fun game. It's, it's just a Metroidvania. It, it's made by- matter of fact, it's made by the original Castlevania director. So, you know. It carries, like, literally a lot of the same DNA. And it plays well, it's fun, it's a fun game, I've been enjoying it. So there's a little, little thing that I decided, like, hey, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play through, like, one of the games on my backlog. Before I go back to, like, my default mode, which would have been, like, a start of Minecraft playthrough. Because <laughs> I already know myself. Like, I, I'm already eyeing down, like, oh man, I wanna play this mod pack. And now that I have a better PC, I can even play like with the shaders enabled without Minecraft lagging like shit, right? So I'm like out here fucking, you know, min like, like trying to min-max my time a little bit. Like, okay, I should at least get through like one game on my backlog that I still want to play for that I've been waiting to play for years before I before I go out of my way to play Minecraft again. And considering it's a, it's a short little Metroidvania, that should not be too tough. You know, uh, Sulfur would be pretty cool, but I guess I'll just take this. Polydactyly. Oh well. <laughs> if only you could hold three things at once, that would be quite uh, quite nice. Sharp plug. Uh, it does nothing for me as the loss, unfortunately. This is Rundo. Algus. Alright. I could go into a humbling bundle though, which is pretty good. I'll gladly do that. What do we have here? A sun card? Okay, whatever. So, yeah, you know, I've been I've been I've been having fun with that. I am in case you're wondering, no, I'm not recording it. I'm, I'm not gonna turn it into anything, I'm just playing the game for myself. I've been literally, like, waiting, like, four years or some shit. <laughs> just because I never got around to it. So, you know, it's it's not going to be played uh, on the channel or anything like that. I'm just playing the game for myself, I'm just enjoying myself. Before I end up inevitably going back into a month-long Minecraft phase, uh... Because that's just the person I am now. That's just that's just where I arrive at a lot of the time, and uh, how I how I do things, I guess. That's just how things be. Anyway, I forgot about Lost Soul. I was about to say maybe I should go grab it, but I forgot about it. I wonder if I can. Okay, that's kind of cheaty. You can teleport out of the mom fight with with good trip. That's a little cheaty, but I also don't care. <laughs> I, let's just pretend I grabbed him before I went into this fight. Right, let's just pretend that that's what happened and I didn't forget. And he's gonna pay out with nothing here anyway. Told you. Nothing of note anyway. Inverted fool. Do the quarter or boom spin down into anything? Might as well check. Quarter turns into cube of meat. Boom turns into a dollar. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Let's get this out of the way. Strength card might as well. Not gonna do anything anyway, but I can spend down twice, matter of fact. I can get a bunch of rosaries out of the quarters. And a bunch of keys out of the booms. We're not really lacking with keys, though. Ah, fuck, I forgot. Ah, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. I forgot to uh, leave that key around. Ah, whatever. Let's spin down once. Grab one dollar. Why not? Angel deal. Ah, oh, man, I should have had a charge for this. Fuck. I could have had Godhead. That's a bit of a misplay. Uh, oh well, I guess in this case I'll just take blood, blood of the Mortar. Turns out I should have come in there with a charge. Uh, that's my bad. I was like, ah, there's no way I'm gonna need one, right? It's just an angel deal. There's not, a, not that many good spin downs. Uh, that's Magic Mush. I already have Cricket's Head, but I gotta do it for the flex, man. I don't care that it's a very marginal damage up, up you know? It just has to happen. It's a matter of principle. You see the ability to get Magic Mush, you gotta take Magic Mush. Like, why would you ever pass it up? That's a bunch of tier rate out of these, a bunch of keys out of you, and technically, way down the line, apparently, more magic mushs. I mean, if I can go for them, it'd be pretty funny, right? Oh, my tier rate has gotten so much better. 
So the, the rosary play was definitely worth it. Unfortunately for me though, unfortunately for me, I don't think I'm getting more charges. So I don't think I'm going for the, the cheeky the cheeky play with the magic mushrooms. I gotta live with what I have. Two more skeleton keys. Because it's funny. That's why it's funny. I love Mercurius. It's so funny. <laughs> like I have little reason to clear all these rooms right now. I'd rather preserve the charges. So I find something that's like worth using them on, right? I mean, <laughs> look at look at this entire uncleared floor. That's so funny. Check the challenge room out. Can't believe I didn't do that yet. All oh, right, I needed like a, an empty pop. That's actually okay. I understand how good trip works now. You need to have at least a clear pop, a, a pop of cleared rooms, like you would normally walk through. Very very reasonable. Don't know why I'm so keen on doing this, but I I guess I just felt like it. It's very loud. Very loud and. Plentiful spinning. You know what's funny to me? And I mean, it's not like something that's inherently funny, which makes it more fucked up that it's funny to me, but... Anyway, let me cook, okay? Has science figured out yet why we get dementia? Besides it, oh, it's just something that comes with old age. Because I feel like every five weeks, on average, I see like a post or an article or something that says like, uh, this thing is now linked to uh, increasing the risk of dementia when you're old. And it's just like the most generic thing ever. Like, hold on, one of my friends sent one the other day, and it was, uh, you can't hear a conversation when there's noise around, a study links it to dementia risk. And I'm like, bro, next you're gonna tell me that drinking water is like linked to dementia. According to scientists, fucking everything is linked to, to an increased risk of dementia. Does it have, like, have they actually figured out what the fuck causes dementia yet? Or are they just still like, ah, oh, you know, it's just a kind of like a random chance type thing. Uh, you might get it, you might not. Lol, you might get demented when you're old, you might not. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, like, come on, man. It's so, it's so vague in the description. It's always like, oh yeah, this thing could be linked to uh, increasing dementia risks. Okay, but we don't have a definitive, like, reason why people get dementia, do we? We, we still don't know, we're just like... Yeah, I mean, we know what could be increasing risk factors or whatever. But that's why I'm saying, like, oh yeah, you know, like smoking increases your risk of lung cancer. It's a well-known fact. I don't think anybody would debate it. At all. And it is, it is very common that people who get lung cancer are avid smokers. However, not everybody who smokes gets lung cancer, right? So, you're telling me it's like a situation like that, where like, doing certain things that are unhealthy, like smoking, can cause lung cancer, but it doesn't necessarily mean you will get lung cancer. It can cause it, it can increase the chance that you get it, but it won't necessarily guarantee it. So, you know, what are we what are we dealing with here? We know what can increase the risk. I can get in the second rock bottom. That's very funny, but I can also get almond milk, which is way funnier, because I already have rock bottom. Plus, I can also get myself a D-Infinity out of that. I'll take this net admiration. There's no point in spinning that down. Same goes for Mystery Sack, and I'll go for that Almond Milk, baby. Like, that's so funny to me, that science just can't seem to figure out, like, what causes dementia. They're just like, ah, oh, yeah, we like we know what, like, could be risk factors or whatever, but we don't know for sure. This could be linked to it. Uh, um, eating bread every day could be linked to, uh, as a dementia risk, okay. Like, come on, man. You gotta be a bit more specific, you know? You gotta be a bit more straightforward with stuff like that. Anyway, give me that Almond Milk. Ian Soul is also funny, but yeah, that's not happening. I also want that lucky foot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh goodness. Oh, there goes the game. <laughs> yeah, no, I kind of saw that coming, actually, when I realized how quickly I'm shooting fetuses. Um, I kind of saw that coming, that the game would just kind of crash. Uh, good thing I wasn't too far into the floor yet. Um, but... That's, uh, yeah, that's a funny one. What does this spin down into by oil? Jacob's Ladder. You know, <laughs> you know, no, I think that's gonna make it even worse. Might as well take you, might as well take you, spin down. I'll save before I pick up Almond Milk, just so I don't have to do all this preamble again, right? And, uh, go ham. <laughs> Enjoy. I gotta be very careful, man. I just can't shoot too much, I guess. If I shoot too many of these uh, too quickly, they, they will just kind of crash my game, I guess. Anyway, there's Incubus, um, again. While we're at it, <laughs> while we're at it, just in case, just in case, you never know, you never know. I'm just very paranoid, so I'm only like tapping to shoot out the occasional barrage of these guys, because I don't really need to spam it anyway. There's no point in spamming it, because it does so much damn damage regardless. Can't believe Lost Soul stayed alive until now. That's actually quite surprising. I'm not trying to say that he will stay alive going forward. There's a good chance he will die eventually. 
but man. Anyway, time to get my final charge off of the blue baby fight. There you go. One little barrage of these guys was all it took, and I get to do one more spin down. The infinity. Uh, there's no point, man. Give me lucky foot. There's no point going for the D infinity. Like, I'm, the run probably ends here anyway. And even then, I wouldn't be able to carry it because I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be able to get one reroll out of it. Basically, holy shit! It's not lagging as much as I would thought it would. Like, um, it's it's actually being surprisingly non-laggy right now. But I'm also not shooting a lot. I'm kind of just leaving them for their own doing, and then like occasionally firing a new barrage at them. There's so many coins on the floor. What the hell is going on? I probably shot too many already. But they're doing their thing. <laughs> Look at all the money up here, man! That's funny as hell. Yeah, see, the run ended. I was right in my play. Anyway, <laughs> what a run, man! What an insane run. I hope that you have enjoyed it yourself as much as I have. I hope you're not uh, at risk of dementia yet like I am, because literally everything increases their dementia risk, so you better be ready. But yeah, uh, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, if you're not demented. Uh, unless you forget, I guess, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>